YouTube, it's me again, it's Jolanda, and I'm coming to you with Subby Subby Sunday, Subby Subby Sunday, Subby Subby Sunday, Subby Sunday. Now, I'm recording this on Sunday, so I'm going to try my best to get this uploaded and posted today. And just as a reminder, or not as a reminder, just as a warning to you guys, I probably will be missing in action for about three weeks because the moving day is upon us. Now... You might notice in the background, I've got some boxes over here. Um, and it's only going to get worse as the days progress. So, I probably won't. Well, let me, let me take that back. There are a few things that I want to do. If you watch this, okay. So, first of all, if you're new to my channel, I do a little bit of chattiness at the beginning. So, if you're not interested in what's going on with me, just fast forward. We'll get to the Stitch Fix stuff. But I just wanted to give you guys this a quick um, update. So yes, so I will be out for the next few weeks. Um, but I may pop in, because um, I feel like the house is going to be a mess, going to be kind of crazy. I may pop in for a few videos from my car, though, because I want to talk about This Is Us. If you guys watch This Is Us, if you watch season one, if you were a subscriber, if you um, were familiar at all with my channel at that time, I did do, I did review every episode of This Is Us season one. Season two, of course, you know, because of everything that was going on, I kind of fell off, but it's been so good. Um, it's been sad. I cried in, on season one. A lot of episodes was kind of like a, a good, feel good kind of cry. The season two is just a Debbie Downer. I mean, it's bad. But I still want to review it because there's so many good moments. So I may do like a big, like up to the winter finale. I think the winter finale was last Tuesday. So I may talk about maybe each episode briefly and then, you know, kind of get me all caught up for when it comes back after the winter break. And I also want to talk about, I want to do a Faith Friday and I want to just talk about being pregnant and unmarried and all of the things that that kind of the stigma that's related to that, um, particularly with someone of a strong faith that I have. Um, just kind of just let you to walk you guys through how I'm feeling. I'm feeling great, I'm feeling good, but just kind of walk you through that, um, how, how I'm doing and what my theology is around it and all of that kind of stuff in case you're interested. So that's really for those people who um, used to tune in to watch my Faith Friday videos. I don't know if folks that watch my Faith Friday videos even still watch my channel anymore. Um, I don't know if it's a whole separate group of people, but I want to, I definitely want to do that to, um, yeah, to kind of put a period um, or answer any questions that might be on people's minds and then also have that forum for that kind of a discussion because I do think that that is something it's really prevalent you um, in churches to see and I'm not um, I'll just say this <laughs> it really is prevalent in churches to see women get pregnant and they're not married or young girls get pregnant I'm 42 it was kind of a totally different um, kind of um, situation like mind your own business <laughs> I'm taking care of this, so, but it's just, it's just something that I want to discuss if you guys don't mind, so that will be a separate video, so those might be coming in the next few weeks as there's time, but this is all about Stitch Fix, so my last Stitch Fix, my last fix was in September or August maybe, and I told him I didn't want my next one until December, when, oh no, I'm losing light, please no, come on. It's really a rainy day today, but I, I want it, I hope I don't lose my light too bad. Um, and I told him I wanted to hold off on fixes because as you guys know, house hunting, blah, 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 blah. And I didn't want to spend any money. So I told him to hold off on sending me any fixes until late November so that I could have kind of a birthday fix. I did let my stylist know that I am expecting and that I like stretchy stuff. So it looks like she did answer. I opened the box, I did an unboxing and I did a video, but I had to scrap it because the lighting was really, really dark and you couldn't see things really well. And I know it's important with Stitch Fix that people can see actually what you're putting on. So if you're not familiar with Stitch Fix, it is a clothing subscription service whereby they send you five pieces. You take a style profile, they send you five pieces and then you try them on and you keep what you want, you send back what you don't want. 
postage is free to and fro. It's a, there's a $20 styling fee. That styling fee is deducted from anything you keep. If you don't keep anything, then they keep your $20 and you send everything back. So that is the way that this works, which is different from La Tote, which I will be getting in La Tote in December. So when I do, I will do a video on La Tote. La Tote is a clothing, more of a clothing rental service, but if you want to buy stuff, you can buy it. So I want to talk about La Tote. And I, the reason why I signed up, oh, we'll talk about that in La Tote video. So here is the bundle, which is now all, uh, all askew. Um, because like I said, I did open it on camera already. So that is the bundle and I will go ahead and go through everything. Like I said, I did let the stylist know that I was expecting and, um, that I like stretchy stuff. So I think she did a pretty good job of keeping that in mind. I told her I was still wearing my same sizes though. And I pretty much am. Um, so we'll see, you know, four, four and a half months at this point. We'll see what things look like in the next couple months. It'll probably be completely different. But for now, I'm still in my same size clothes. So here's the jeans. And these are cut from the cloth Kate Distress Boyfriend Jean. Okay. And they're my regular size, size eight. So we'll see how those go. Boyfriend jeans. I'm really, I can't say I am or am not a fan of boyfriend jeans. Um, it just all depends. The next item is a moto jacket and this is the liverpool bradford coated moto denim jacket in olive and it is in a size medium and i think it's nice to have a moto jacket particularly when you're expecting um trying to move toward the sun um because it gives you a little bit of structure you know sometimes you need that over you know all the curves the next item is the Layla Jade Ralphie Calnet Knit Top. So it's kind of a dolman sleeve, kind of relaxed fit sort of top. Next item is a sweater. Sweater, sweater. Uh, and this is, I'm still looking at the lighting going, gosh, this needs to be better. I'm gonna pull out an artificial light, don't worry you guys. This is the Emily Rose Armstrong Zipper Detail Cow Neck Pullover. And this is in a blue. It really, yeah, it's reading quite, it's reading right on camera. It's a navy blue. And the thing that's different about this sweater, and I will do a try on at the end, is that it's got the zipper, gold zipper on the side. So how I usually do it, as you guys know who watch my videos, I show you everything and I try everything on before I read the prices and the stylist note and so that I can kind of make it a blind choice about the things that I like before I know how much they cost. The last thing is the Layla Jade, also buoy three quarter sleeve dolman knit top. And this is also in a navy. I don't know where I said that I liked navy. I think what I told her is that I like black, gray, and white. So she got me some gray, maybe they're kind of running low on black. But sometimes you can never go wrong with a nice little dolman sleeve top. Fits really, you know, it's just a really forgiving, nice piece to have. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and try everything on for you guys and then read the prices and the stylus note, okay? Hold on one second. Okay, so here is that sweater with the zip tie. And then I also have on the cut from the cloth jeans, which I'll be wearing with everything today since I have all tops. Um, oh, let me back up a little bit. So I have one side cut from the cloth jeans cuffed and the other side with them uncuffed. They do fit nicely. Um, you know, there's that boyfriend jean is a little bit more relaxed in the waist, so I think that works really well for me. And then, um, I like the way this sweater zips up and down on the side. It's kind of an asymmetrical thing. If you wanted to wear it with leggings, you could because it's long enough. And um, it's really comfortable. It's kind of got that cow neck. It's a little see-through, as you can see. It's not very thick, so you might want to wear a tank or something under if this is something that you choose to request in your box. But that is this sweater. Next item. Okay, so this is the Layla Jade Ralphie cow neck. It is very big and blousy, very comfortable, kind of loungy short sort of a top. 
It too is rather um, thin in material. So if you're in a colder climate, this you may want to find something. Either wear like a long sleeve t-shirt under it or something under it or be prepared to wear a heavy coat or sweater over it. But it is, you know, real comfortable, you know, loungy sort of a top. Um, not a whole lot of structure to it, but um, probably will look good underneath the moto jacket. Okay, next item. Okay, next item is that Dolman sleeve top. Um, like I said, you can't really go wrong with the Dolman sleeve. Sometimes I don't like when I have to try these stuff on because there's all these tags everywhere. There's tags hanging from everywhere. Um, but here are these, the, uh, the Dolman sleeve top. It's fitted around the waist. Um, you know, you can zhuzh it up a little bit. I think that the Dolman is always kind of universally flattering with because, especially because it has that, um, this snugness around the midsection. So if you want to hide something, you can. If you don't have anything to hide, you don't have to hide it. Um, I like the, the neckline. I think that's really nice. I think it looks good with these jeans. Okay, jacket, and then we'll find out the prices and the stylus note. And last but not least, the moto jacket. So, moto, baby. Um, it is really nice length to it. Um, it's very comfortable. It's got lots and lots of stretch. Let me show you what it looks like zipped up. I will say this much for this fix. She got the sizes spot on on this fix. And it's got some zippers, zipper pockets. But she really did, with, in terms of the, si of the sizes, everything fits perfectly. Nothing's too snug, nothing's too big. It all fits as it should. Um, this also has some zippers on the sleeves. So let's get to the prices, you guys. Just one second. Okay, so thank you for watching the try on. Um, so now I'm going to read the stylus note and then we're gonna look at the prices. So, um, so and if you're new to Stitch Fix, you do get a stylus note, which is up here, but they also show you different ways that you can wear the clothing. So it's really, you know, personal styling service. So they really show you, like for instance, that moto jacket, how you can wear it with either dressy or casual. I really love the moto jacket. Let me just, spoiler alert, I really love the moto jacket. So it says, hi, Jolanda, happy fix day. I'm so happy to be styling you again. Congratulations on, on the pregnancy. The cut from the cloth jeans are amazing and they are looser fitting than what you usually wear, so they should work for a while. While the, while the jeans, pair the jeans with the Layla Jade cow neck knit top for an amazing look, she says. I love the edgy vibe that this top has. The color is so versatile as well. For those extra chilly days, layer the look with the flattering and on-trend Liverpool Moto denim jacket and head out the door in confidence and feeling incredible. Have fun trying on your items. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving. Please let me know how these items work for you. Cheers, Kelsey. Thank you, Kelsey. Really appreciate Kelsey. I think she's right about those boyfriend jeans. They are great. I did um, get ready to sit down in them to record this part of the video and I felt like I needed to take them off because they weren't comfortable for me sitting in them that button and stuff, things, anything like, the jeans like that are starting to pinch. So even though they fit well, it wasn't comfortable as I have on some um, jeans that I bought from the thrift store. I bought three pairs of jeans from the thrift store and they're all that elastic waist maternity jean and I love them. I like the stretchy. So I don't know, I really like the jeans, but I don't know that they're practical for me right now. Um, the cow neck knit blazer pullover, meh. Nah. It was okay, but for me, what it's for, if I'm gonna get a, um, a, a, a sweater like that, would be um, this one. It would be more for really cold days, and I'd want it to be thicker 
And again, with the um, Ralphie Cow knit top, and you ladies out there who've been pregnant before, maybe you can tell me if you get hot. I know some people say you get hot later, and so maybe some of these thinner fabrics might be welcomed later on. The Doma knit top also was really nice. Um, I enjoyed it, but I really do think that if I had to pick one item out of this box, it would be the moto jacket. Now, I will say, if you remember that white moto jacket that I picked up early summer, I wore that thing a couple of times, and it just, it didn't really make a whole lot of sense because it was warm. So I didn't really want to wear a jacket, and then I thought, well, maybe in the fall when it starts to cool off a bit, I'll wear it. Fall came and I didn't wear it then either, and then it's so cold, and then who wants to wear a white coat? So I think I ended up putting that in a donation pile, which is terrible, because that thing was expensive. So um, I really do think that the black is much more practical and will get m way more use than that white one did. The white one was so cute, I really did love it, but it just was not practical at all. Any other color than white may have been a better choice, but you live and learn. So this is fix number 22 for me. The cut from the cloth jeans were $88. The Emily Rose Armstrong zipper detail top. This one with the zipper. This is 58. That's a pretty good price though. I will give them that much. The Bowie three quarter sleeve dome and knit top by Layla Jade is also $58. So, I mean, in price point versus, you know, in terms of what they look like, I probably would go with the um, the zipper detail because it looks way more expensive than $58 in Stitch Fix money um, than the Dolman does. But I'm not wild about either one of them. And then the uh, Ralphie cow neck knit top is 64. Mm, no. I feel like this is something that I might be able to pick up from Ross or um, Burlington Coat Factory for maybe like $19.99. So 64 bucks. Let's see, what is it made out of? What, what is it made out of? Is it made out of some silk or something? It's just rayon polyester and spandex. So I couldn't justify that unless that was, I really was in love with it and then I didn't want to lose my $20 and then it's $44. It's, Potentially, I'd want it. So then the last item, of course, <laughs> is the Liverpool Bradford coated moto denim jacket, and it's $98. <sighs> so that's $78 with the $20 I've already spent. Um, it's a nice weight. It's very stretchy. Gives me some structure. I can wear it over dresses. I can wear it dressed down with jeans and stuff. I'll have to try it on again and then I'll consult with the boyfriend, see what he thinks. So, that brings the totals, the subtotal for this fix, $366. Not the cheapest fix, but I've seen more, more expensive ones. The buy five discount of 25% gives, and then subtracting the buy five discount, oh, I didn't mention that. You buy five, all five items, you get 25% discount and you get to reduce to um, deduct the styling fee, which is $20. That brings the total to $254.50 for the whole box, okay? Plus tax, if you have tax where you live. So 78 versus 254, probably would just get this, do the 78. I don't love, well, I do like the jeans, but again, they're just kind of uncomfortable. So what do you guys think? Do you agree with my assessment that I should keep the moto jacket? Or do you think I should send it all back? Or do you think I should just keep it all, Jolanda? You're gonna need all of these items. Pregnant ladies, talk to me. Tell me, am I gonna need all of these sweaters and baggy shirts and I'm gonna be mad that I sent them all back? Splurge a little, treat myself for my birthday. What should I do? Until next time, stay tuned, stay positive, stay on budget, leave your comments below. I look forward to seeing them and I'll talk to you guys later. Love you, bye.